Welcome to Foundation Hand of Physical Therapy in Richmond, Kentucky. We're conveniently located off the Richmond Bypass on Lancaster Avenue. We offer all kinds of therapy services um, from hand therapy um, to all kinds of uh, physical therapy. Um, and Todd's going to talk a little bit about um, the services that we offer. Um, we are located or we're are open from um, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Um, and we take all insurances, including um, any type of Medicaid that the state offers. We offer a wide variety of different services uh, from both the physical therapy and occupational side of things. Um, some of the, the more well-known uh, offerings we have is uh, integrated dry needling. It's where we use acupuncture needles uh, to assist with reducing muscle tension and improve uh, pain. We offer a therapeutic cupping, which is an excellent option for reducing muscle tension uh, any kind of fascial uh, uh, inflammation or uh, tightness as well. Uh, obviously, how, how the how painful is that? Because I hear needling, I'm like, ah. Dry needling is actually, you know, you're getting the, the pinpricks of the needles, uh -huh. but outside of that, normally you don't feel much. There'll be a dull, deep sensation once the needles are placed in, but outside of that, it's, it's not painful for 90% of the time. He has dry needled actually and it is not on a scale from one to ten I'd say it's about maybe a two or a three but it's almost I've had especially in the upper trap uh, had probably instant relief from doing it one to two sessions so dry needling is excellent on acute stuff it's acute. probably the best option for any kind of acute muscle spasms um, you know sprains strains that kind of thing it works really good on acute stuff chronic I feel like the uh, therapeutic cups works a little bit better, especially if it's any kind of fascial issue, just because it's it's more effective at getting that continuous stretch, um, loosening up the tissue a little bit more effectively, which has gotten normally more kind of fibrotic and scarred down over the last few months, and not even years. Um, but generally, dry needling is actually really comfortable. Most patients will actually fall asleep if I let them, because uh, I. The way we do it here, we do it more statically. So we place needles in and we leave it for a certain amount of time. Research doesn't say there's really a difference between five minutes and 15 minutes, but it's more about patient relaxation. So if you can relax better with it, you're gonna get a better uh, outcome from the treatment. Okay. Um, but other than that, we also do a lot of sports rehab. Uh, we do a lot of running analysis on treadmill where I take a slow motion video and actually break down um, ankle movements says you know everything from the translation from the ankle itself up to the hip and see if we can make any adjustments from that uh, which is really effective especially with the collegiate athletes here in Richmond from EKU and things it's super effective at helping them be able to get through a lot of their overtraining overuse injuries uh, so we do that quite frequently uh, and then again a lot of the stuff is about just stabilization for our sports and, uh, and anyone really who's doing a lot of standing activity the sports related definitely we have a lot of patients from Toyota and UPS and, yes. these, and nurses and teachers. We have a lot of people that are standing on their feet all day, all day on the concrete. Right. Um, kind of what's some stuff that you could offer them to get them back on their feet, especially with time um, consideration. The very first thing is the fact that we have a wide variety of times so that people can get in here very easily. Uh, but on top of that, uh, we, we try our best to always have as dynamic of a, of a plan for each person, because some of those people are standing on the concrete a lot, not making a lot of movement, and then others are constantly making repetitive movements over and over and over. So we try to make sure that we're addressing the weaknesses they have in their legs, because there's normally something there. And then it goes back to, again, using the cupping or the dry needling, if they're having a lot of tension, fascial tension, fascial tightness, anything like that, the foot especially, uh, or even up into the calf. Uh, Typically, a lot of calf pain or foot pain responds really well to dry needling into the calf. Get that posterior tibialis, any of those types of muscles there, kind of get that release a lot faster. Do you guys do ASTEM? Yeah. We actually consider it uh, GRASTEM, I guess, so instrument assisted dry needling instead of ASTEM, but essentially the same exact thing. And this practice, we've been in practice for six years, and this practice is built on the manual therapy technique and being hands-on with the therapist so our therapists have a typically lower caseload than um, maybe a corporately owned practice would um, so that they can be hands-on with the patient um, and each patient gets that 
therapist hands on with them, went through manual, um, the different te techniques that Todd talked about. Um, so our whole mindset is um, centered on patient care, and we have weekly um, meetings to discuss any you know problematic um, issues with patients. Um, so we're always brainstorming of how to best help the patient and to get the patient um, quick, uh, quickly healed um, so they can return to whatever uh, task they need to do or job. We typically are very, really, really open to um, pursuing any other new technique or new modality or whatever it is to help people. Um, we had a local dog that asked for us to get blood flow restriction therapy. Um, and within the next two months, we had it. And we offered that as well. So that's where the place to get in their own the upper thigh, upper arm, um, and do a lot lighter activities, lower resistances, in order to get the same amount of uh, strength gains without all the extra loading. So that's been very effective as well. So we, we were always open to changing and and uh, keeping, keeping up with the new research is most important. You can contact us at 859-625-5986. That's our phone number. Um, most insurances require a referral from um, a doctor, whether a PCP or a specialist. Um, so have that as well as um, whatever insurance um, you have um, when you call to schedule. Um, and then we also have a website, it's foundation hand and spelled out A-N-D-P-T dot